Welcome to Networking Rx, a podcast devoted to helping business professionals like you enhance your networking skills in order to become more proficient giving and receiving quality business referrals and improving the overall quality of your life and the lives of those around you. The Networking Rx podcast is a production of AmSpirit Business Connections, an organization whose mission is to empower business success through networking. Welcome back for another episode of the Networking Rx podcast. Thank you for tuning in. My name is Frank Egg, and I am the founder and president of AmSpirit Business Connections. Today, we're going to talk about opportunity and sharing opportunity. The, the world is full of opportunity. There's lots of opportunity out there, and everybody is looking for different opportunity. Stop and think about it. There are some people out there who are looking for people to buy houses. There are some people out there looking for individuals who want to build additions to houses or remodel kitchens. Some people want to get on podcasts. Some people want to drive book sales. There's lots of different types of opportunity out there. Some people want a job and just have the information and the ability to advance in that job. So there is lots of opportunity out there and no one needs it all. No one needs all the opportunity or really wants it all. They want to focus on the opportunity that's there. Um, and so we're all general, uh, generally we're all partial to one particular opportunity over another. And that seems to drive our focus. I mean, let's face it, if you're looking to drive book sales, you're not necessarily so concerned about um, people who are remodeling their kitchen, let's say. Uh, you know, it's just kind of a little bit off your radar. But what I want to talk about today is I want to ca- talk about a couple paths to success, a couple paths to f- seeking opportunity and sharing opportunity because there's so much of it out there. And there are really there are really two paths to take. And, and they both work and they're both successful. I just think one is a little more successful than the other. Now, the first path is simply this, is get out there and work really hard trying to find the opportunities that you seek. Work really hard, be singularly focused, and hustle and try and drive book sales, get on podcasts, get coaching clients, whatever it is. That's one path to success. And to be honest, it works. You need to work hard and you need to maintain that focus. The other path, however, is, and I see this as being much more lucrative, is rather than just focusing on the opportunity you want, focus on other people's opportunities as well. In other words, keep your eyes and ears open for things that can benefit other people. And I see that as being very lucrative because as you're out there looking to help other people, finding things for other people, they're going to look for things for you in return. Now, I put out a video earlier this year or actually late in in 2020 kind of analogizing this and essentially what I did was to, to drive home this point, I use candy. Everybody loves candy. Um, and But everybody loves candy, but people like certain candies more than others. I am partial to black licorice. Black jelly beans, black jelly beans, black licorice. My wife, my kids, they hate it, which I joke is like, that's why I get it, because I don't have to share it. Uh, I'm partial to black licorice. I'm partial to root beer barrels. Uh, and certain other things I'm I'm not. Malted milk balls, I could care less. Uh, anyhow, don't want to digress into um, a whole discussion on candy, but imagine that there are five types of candy, and that represents all the op- opportunity in the world. You've got Starlight Mints, um, the little mints with, the, with, with the, uh, the red stripes. You've got the Smarties, the original Smarties, which is a little packet of, I don't know, 10 or 12 little candies in there of different flavors. To me, I, to me, they all taste the same. Apparently, they're different flavors. They're certainly different colors. I can see that. Um, you've got Hershey Kisses. You've got small Reese's Pieces. And then you've got York Peppermint Patties. And I've actually got these sitting here. Um, you can't see them, but trust me, they're, they're, they're here. Now, if you're somebody and you're, you adopt the first line of thinking, and that first line of think, thinking is you work hard and focus on what you want. Then you basically go through, let's envision a table full of candy, and you're going to pick out the Starlight Mints. You're going to, because that's what you want. That's what really benefits you, and you're really not going to be too concerned about anything else on the table because that is not, that's not what helps you realize your dreams. Your dreams 
are represented by the starlight mints. And so you're going to gather up the starlight mints, and that's 100% of your focus and energies. And you know what? Again, that works. You've got to you you got to work hard. You got to gather up the starlight mints wherever they're at, and bring them in, and that will be successful for you in time. Now, a different mindset is this: is you look at that that table of candy, that sea of candy, and you basically gather it all up. If not physically, certainly mentally. You're kind of you're gathering it all up. You might gather it all up in, in buckets. That's what we used in the video. Uh, put it into buckets, and then you go through those buckets and you pull out the starlight mints because that's what you need to benefit yourself. But as you're sorting out your starlight mints, what you're doing as well is you're sorting out the other candies as well. You have a separate bucket for the York peppermint patties. You have a separate bucket for the Hershey's Kisses. You have a separate bucket for your star uh, for your Smarties, excuse me, um, and then you have a separate bucket for the Reese's. And what you do is you think about your network, and certainly there's somebody in your network whose hopes and dreams are represented uh, by the opportunity of York peppermint patties. And what you do for them is you give them that bucket of York peppermint patties. Uh, and you might have another friend who is partial to those Reese's those little Reese's cups. Um, I like them too. But anyhow, they may be really partial to those Reese's cups. My wife loves these. Loves these. Um, and so you hand that bucket over to them. You know what? This is not going to help me with my hopes and dreams, but I'm going to share this bucket with you because I know it'll help you with your hopes and dreams. And then the same thing with respect to the Hershey Kisses. Um, some people's hopes and dreams are wrapped up in those Hershey's Kisses, and some people's wrapped up in the Smarties. And so you share those buckets out. Or even if you don't aren't partial to gathering up all the opportunities, at least noting where the opportunities are. So when somebody comes along and says, my hopes and dreams are wrapped up in this, in this, and I need these opportunities, I need York peppermint patties for me to realize my opportunity, you can say, you know what, I saw a bunch of them. It's over there. There were a bunch, there was a whole pocket of them, and you can help direct them, give them that information. Uh, whereas somebody who's singularly focused on themselves, geez, I don't know, all I saw were Starlight Mints. I didn't really think about anything else. You're not going to be successful because as you're sharing out buckets of their opportunities with them, they're going to be thinking about you. They're going to be thinking about you, and they're, in return, are going to say, you know what? Here's a bucket of Starlight Mints. I gathered up a lot of things. I don't really want Starlight Mints. You can have my Starlight Mints. Or, you know, I was out there I was out there trying to find my opportunity. I was trying to find my Reese's Pieces. I was trying to find my Hershey Kisses. Um, and I did see a bunch of Starlight Mints. And I'm going to give you, I'm gonna give you, I'll give you the coordinates. I'll give you the GPS coordinates as to where the Starlight Mints are. Now, obviously, it's kind of fun to play with candy. And I will eat this uh, just to let you know. Um, because the video is long gone, and I just saved these to talk a longer version about it. Um, candy is fun, but I, again, there, we all look for various degrees or various types of opportunity. And so if somebody tells me, you know, Frank, I really want to get on podcasts, as I'm out there talking to people, I might hear about somebody's podcast, and it doesn't really relate to me at all, but it would be a great, a, a great podcast for somebody else. Somebody might be doing a great, uh, I, Jason Cutter wrote a great book on authentic persuasion and sales. Um, if I'm talking to somebody who is doing a podcast on sales and they might say, Frank, we really don't need you. We don't need somebody to talk about professional relationships. I tend to disagree, but that's the go with me on this. They may say, well, you know, we've had plenty of your type. We don't need you. I see that as an opportunity for Jason. And so rather me just kind of walking away with my tail between my legs or me, if I got that opportunity, taking on that opportunity um, and then that being the end of it, what I would do is I would gather up that opportunity, more or less, metaphorically speaking, and contact Jason or connect Jason and the podcast host. Uh, same thing with people who are looking to whatever it might be, you know, whatever it might be. I've got a friend who is in the soft drink beverage. I've known him 25 years now. 
Um, and we were talking over lunch and he was kind of commiserating with me just how hard it is. Here we are in the throes of COVID, how hard it is to get appointments with people now. You know, that his whole thing has been, you know, going to Tulsa, Oklahoma and meeting with beer wine distributors, uh, people who are distributing soft drinks. It's been hard because people aren't as available and they're not as open to it. Uh, and I just said, geez, have you thought about using Zoom or some sort of platform like that? And he hadn't. So, you know, we spent time working with his marketing people, trying to put together a whole program so he doesn't have to leave the comfort of his office and get out there and invade people's worlds and make people uncomfortable. You know, but again, it's just spotting opportunities for other people. Yes, there are opportunities I need to be successful. I, you know, I absolutely need those things. But I know that there are things that other people need to be successful. And so I want to be mindful of those. And so when I come across them, rather than just passing them over, I will pick them up, put them in a metaphorical bucket, and then pass them on the first opportunity I get. Generally, it's pretty quick because I don't want to sit on things. Cause I, so I don't forget. And so the, so the opportunity is, is, is still fresh. Um, but I get it off to other people. And in return, they send opportunities to me. They send great opportunities to me. Not all of them work out, but at least they're thinking about me. So as you're out there in the sea of opportunity, um, gather up what you need, certainly. Gather up what you need. Focus. you got to work hard. you got to focus hard. you got to work hard. But as you see opportunities that don't belong to you, that don't work to help you get your hopes and dreams, gather them up, note where they are, and share that information with other people that you know who could use those opportunities for themselves so they can advance their their world. At any rate, what I'm about to say is key. Being networked is vital to success. And if you're responsible for driving sales in your business or profession, re receiving referrals is the most effective means of generating revenue. And it's always been. Referrals, networking is just so much better than cold calling and advertising. Um, now, if you're looking way, for easy ways to drive referrals, you can certainly join a chamber or, better yet, get into a networking group like Amspirit Business Connections. Having said that, think about this. If you had a choice, would you rather be a renter or the landlord? That's a no-brainer, right? You're smart. You want to own the building. You want to own the apartment complex. You want to be the guy collecting rent. So why do you just want to be in a networking organization when you can make money from operating a networking organization? At Amspirit Business Connections, we're looking for highly energetic entrepreneurs and professionals who want to operate a networking or organization. They want to own an apartment complex, metaphorically speaking. Um, and, and so they can certainly add this on to what they're doing, what they're already add the Amspirit franchise opportunity on to what they're already doing. If you're interested, and I assume most people are at least to talk about it, uh, I invite you to reach out to me. We have an email at the end of the show and also one in the show notes. Um, we're in the process of our national expansion, national expansion, and we're looking for franchisees, organizers, managers to help us. You'll make more money from professional connections through this franchise opportunity, and you'll also make money from professional connections. Thanks for joining us on the Networking Rx podcast. Please put what you've learned into action today and let us know if you have questions, comments, or ideas for future topics. You can email them to us at podcast at amspirit.com. That's A-M-S-P-I-R-I-T dot com. Finally, so you never miss an episode, be sure to subscribe to the Networking Rx podcast through iTunes, Overcast, or however you receive your podcasts. Now get out and network with someone. The Networking Rx podcast is the copyright production of Amspirit Business Connection. All rights reserved.